I'm Deacon Danny with Christ the King School and Church. Peace be with you. So Jesus went into their synagogues, preaching and driving out demons throughout the whole of Galilee. Mark chapter 1, verse 39. Dr. Healy comments, The preaching comes first, and as the truth of the gospel begins to enlighten people's minds, the demons can no longer maintain their hold. Jesus demonstrates that he had come to bring a much greater healing and liberation than just from physical illness, but liberation from the domination of sin, Satan, and death. End quote. Jesus came to set us free from the snares of the enemy. The Catechism explains that, quote, the devil and demons are fallen angels who sinned against God by refusing to accept his reign. Satan, also called the devil, the evil one, the accuser, and other demons were at first good angels, created naturally good, who became evil by their own choosing. See Catechism number 391. It does not really take much convincing for people to recognize and believe in the existence of evil. Just taking a look at local, national, or world headlines will convince most people. Even an honest, courageous look into our own hearts will reveal that evil is not only out there somewhere, but indeed dwells within each human heart. What may take a little more convincing is that Jesus is stronger than every specific evil and evil in general. Even a cursory reading of the Gospels will reveal that it was very important to Jesus to set people free from the oppressive power of the devil, the enemy of God, and the enemy of every human soul. Experiencing salvation includes experiencing the glorious freedom of the children of God, freedom from addiction, freedom from paralyzing anxiety and fear, freedom from being defined by my accomplishments and possessions, freedom from enslavement to work, freedom for experiencing deeply the peace of Christ, communion and connection with God and others, freedom for authentic leisure and service. Take some time today and visit with Jesus about an area of your life where you desire to experience more deeply the glorious freedom of the children of God. Invite him to come with his power and love into that area and situation. Let's pray for one another. God bless.